Okay, so today we're going to be talking about completing the square. So to solve for x while completing the square, there are two ways to do that. The first way I'm going to show is just a trick. It's just a faster way to get there. So what we're going to do is we move the constant to the other side of the equal sign. So I'll subtract 23 from each side, and that's my first step. I'm left with 4x squared minus 20x equals negative 23. And I'm leaving the space so I can put my perfect square in there. So normally, you would do that you would factor a 4 out, but this is a faster way, so here's what I'm going to do. You want to figure out what a is. We know that the first number in a perfect square is always squared. So we know that a squared is 4. That means that a is actually 2. Okay? You take the coefficient of x, the middle coefficient, you take the at. First of all, you divide it by 2, not a. So let's say a was something else. That's not part of my step right now. So you divide it by 2, you get 10. Then you divide it by a. In this case, a is 2. And you'll get 5. That number squared is your perfect square. So you take that number, you square it, you get 25, and that's what I'm going to add here and here. Okay? I'm going to erase that so I can continue, but those are the steps. Okay. Then you want to put that in perfect square form. So we're going to do the square root of the first, square root of the last, and the sign of the middle. If it was positive, we would be positive. If it was negative, we'll do negative. Square root of 4x squared is 2x. Square root of 25 is 5. Sign of the middle is negative. That would equal negative 23 plus 25 plus positive 2. Since we're solving for x, we want to get rid of that, and we want to get rid of the parentheses. So we'll take root, square root of both sides. Remember that when you're taking the square root of a constant, it always gets you two answers, positive or negative. Because it's a quadratic, you always get two answers. So that would give me 2x minus 5, because the square root of a square, they cancel each other out. And that would equal positive or negative root 2. By adding 5 to each side, I would get 2x equals 5, positive or negative root 2. And then by dividing by 2, x should equal there. And that's how you get your answer.